Hey guys, this is Grant, and this is my 2010 MacBook Pro. Today, we're going to be installing macOS Catalina with a patcher on it. So, um, let's get started. This is also not a tutorial. Uh, I just kind of just want to see how to do it. Just... And I figured I may as well make a video on it. So, um, yeah, let's start. Yeah, everything ready. Probably, oh, of course, the pull boot. So, here is the laptop on Mac OS High Sierra. I'll show you the specs real quick. As the i7, 8 gigabytes of RAM. The dedicated graphics aren't being used for some reason. I don't know why. But um, there's the graphics and stuff. And also it has 120 gigabyte SSD. So um, let's get started. I did not already install it, so, um, let's go do that. As you can see, is that, it's, pretty, it's running pretty fast on macOS High Sierra. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully, macOS Catalina does not ruin that. Uh, need another. There you go. And this is the third. Salt. Do this, you use the. There it is. That's the MacOS Catalina Patcher. And, uh. But let's. Let's see how to do it. She's downloading. Okay. Hope it runs pretty well because Catalina is generally still usable. But. When I did like Big Sur on this, uh, I didn't think it ran the best. So, um, I'm hoping this will run better. Yep. There you go. And then, just open it. It's blurry. Oh, it be blurry. Alright, so let's go. I need to get the MacOS Catalina installer. Great. Alright. Um I kinda messed up. Uh you can just you can you can download it. You don't, you don't have to Well, now it's downloading. Eight gigabytes. So, um, um, I'll return when it's done. All right, finish. And um, yeah, that's the thing. Is it really that easy? Okay. It's that easy. It's that what? See you in the in a second, I guess. Uh the installer. Load up, I guess that's what it did. When I thought you had to do a USB or something, that was an option, but like, I guess it's just like, well, that is surprisingly easy in my.
So, um, this is actually probably going to be a shorter video. So, all right, so, um, that's the wallpaper. Looks like it. This installing. All it did was, like, install it and reboot. So, yeah. I'm sure there's patches that need to be installed. Maybe not. This is this is still running pretty smoothly, so I don't know like how it works or anything. It loaded into well, this like uh, setup thing. Well, there we go. Uh. This is just the thing. You can't get this. Right. Hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll try and fix the camera for you. Hold on. All right. So, I fixed the camera. Let's choose one of the coolest features in. Catalina. Pretty sure it's also in Mojave. And after this is done, let's see how it runs. Oh. So there it is. So there is patches. As I expected. Need to make sure I'm not showing keywords and no one can steal my password. Then you restart. So far, it looks like it's going to run pretty well. So that is good. Alright, so it rebooted. Hopefully, it runs a little smoother after that. And there it is. That is macOS Catalina. Patch it said installed was a night shift patch. Patch updater. Is there anything? I'm up to date. So, um, there's Mac OS Catalina. Um, from what I remember, one of the new things in Mac OS Catalina was the new music app. And, uh, there's that. Oh. I right, didn't show my email or anything. I'll close out of that, though. I don't remember. Am I signed in on this? I don't think I am. So. It's still. It's loading. But I try to download the. The installer from. But. So far. This looks pretty smooth. I'm like. I've never used this before. But like. This is. Like. Surprising. This works surprisingly well. It's not. It's not as, like, clunk, like, hmm, it's surprisingly different from OpenCore. I kind of thought it would be, um, relatively similar. So, um, that is that, I guess. Good job on Dostude 1, this works, like, really well. I'll uh, link his channel in the description, and uh, I will also link a tutorial on how to do this. But that is it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And bye.